When you think about it, when you're Harry and Meghan, you really have blown it. I mean, lots of people are rather negative about the ex-royals, but you couldn't have put more on a plate to be a success. You had it all, and you kind of blew it from the off. They're now claiming, of course, that it was all regarding the pandemic and how they got off to a bad and rocky start. I would say that it's really the insufferable things that you've come out with. All negative. You could have done so much good. Even that first trip to New York was a disaster, simply because you turned it all into a media on slot that didn't really need to be so negative but again you know it now seems they're plundering the depths of what they've got in order to make sure that people are still interested either way as we've said before Megan's brand new agency the William Morris agency have a lot on their plate to deal with but will this turn it all around or increase once again the negativity as ever let me explain Hi, good morning. How are you today? Let's have a wave. Yes, lovely to see you. By the way, what were you doing way back on this day in 1969? Were you in fact here? That's right, at Hyde Park in the centre of London for that free concert given by Mick Jagger and the rest of the brilliant Rolling Stones. I mean, gosh, can you? how long ago is that? Let's not even think about it. It's frightening to think, isn't it? But it's one of those concerts, a bit like on top of the Apple Roof with the Beatles' final concert, that everybody remembers. And when you think about it, both of these concerts took place in the very same year, 1969. Were you there? Did you like the Rolling Stones or were you a Beatles fan? You had to be one or the other, didn't you? Or maybe you just like the Dave Clark Five, Herman's Hermits, who knows? It's a lot of choice back in the day, a lot better some might say as well. Back as ever to your breaking royal story of the day. As we know, Meghan Markle has been offered a mega book deal, uh, the very same company that have uh, now turned Prince Harry's book into the biggest selling book so far of 2023. Not much to boast about, really, is it? Trashing your family all of all those pages and then basically saying, well, look, you know, it's the biggest selling book. Not much competition around either, as one can imagine. So, well, as Meghan ponders this particular deal, which could be worth quite a few million to her, because, as I say, her story, in effect, is slightly more fascinating as to what she could come up with and I use that term loosely you know her memories recollections may vary of course the biggest thing that everybody's looking towards is simply this while Prince Harry said no he would never reveal it you will know in that interview with Oprah Winfrey Meghan Markle never uttered the same sentence we're talking about whether they would reveal the royal alleged racist you know the one that they let Her Majesty the Queen sadly go away with thinking that all of her family could in fact be named as that particular situation even though harry claimed later on in an interview earlier this year that megan never said it they did end of but the bottom line is this are the royal family now concerned if megan did in fact well name one of them well it's interesting because i spoke to a very close source working directly with the royals who said no they're not bothered you know she could do really now what she wants but the bottom line is people just know her as a liar as a person who really cannot uh, you know sort of connect with the truth we saw that with that book that she claimed she'd never helped write but then turned out she did and somehow because she's a member of the british monarchy nothing happened you and me would have been in clink but no not her so it's an interesting turnaround isn't it because normally as i say you know there's the other book coming up too we've got the valentine low book out now and seemingly the royal family can ride above this as they rightly should but i think whatever megan says now really people will not take at all seriously and it's all down to her own sheer stupidity i think culminating more recently in less than a few weeks ago when she came up with that ridiculous two-hour car chase through manhattan i think after that people saw right through her not just necessarily with the gold dress but even if she wished now to name that alleged royal racist and it would be brave of her and literally would leave prince harry dangling without any hope of a combat for a long time she's a brave woman but would it dent the popularity of the monarchy i don't think so they don't think so megan penguin if you want to pick up the check get on with it best of luck neil sean in the very heart of london